Welcome to Virtualize Everything. Today we're going to be exploring a viewer question. The viewer wanted to pass in an SMB storage mount to his container. From his research and my research, it's impossible to mount that particular SMB storage directly into a container. And instead, you have to mount it onto your Proxmox server and then pass it in using something called a blind mount to your container. Today, I'm going to show you the messier way of doing it where we primarily use the web interface. Unfortunately, we're going to have to use the command line interface for some of the commands as the settings provided to us with the web interface for doing this don't necessarily do what I believe the viewer is looking to do. So the first thing we're going to need is an SMB server or Samba server, and I've already gone ahead and set that up. From that point, you're going to head up to data center, and then you're going to head over to storage. We're going to press add, and we're going to come down to the SMB CIFS tab, and this is where we're going to add the drive in. It's a little bit cleaner if we do this with the command line. It won't add files into our SMB server because what Proxmox is doing is trying to actually make this share for itself, but it is going to mount it for us and set everything up. So it's a little bit easier for the beginning user. We're going to give it a name. I'm just going to call mine test here today, and we're going to enter the IP address of our server. Then we're going to enter our login credentials for the server and press on the drop down right here. If everything's gone right, you'll get an option where you can select your share. Mine was called data and everything else can be left the same here. So we can just hit add. Okay, so now that we have our share all added to our Proxmox system, right here we wanna take note of the path and the target. And then we're gonna come down to our container that we want to connect our mount point to. In our case, this is gonna be container 104. You're gonna to wanna to remember that container ID number in just a minute here, because it's gonna be vital for the commands that we're gonna issue in the command line. Well, let's go ahead and first start up this container and log into it with root and just take a look at a particular location so that I can show you that there is indeed nothing here. So let's go to MNT, and we'll run an LS, and you can see there's a shared folder. Let's go to CD shared, and we'll run an LS, and there's nothing inside of that folder. Now, if everything goes right, that folder will have a extra folder in it called images in just a minute here. So let's shut down this container go up to our server and we're going to activate the shell inside of shell we're going to go ahead and open a file at etc pve lxc that is then ended by our container number in our case 104.conf inside this folder we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and we're going to add a line that's mp0 colon and then it's the path at which we created our or mounted, and then it's the path that we mounted our SMB share at, which you can see above my mouse is at MNT PVE TES, which is the same as right here. No spaces and a comma. It's very important that no spaces are put in here. It doesn't work. And then we're going to specify the mount point inside of our container, which is going to be MP equals MNT slash shared. And you can make this whatever you want within reason, as long as you're not overwriting system files that the container needs to function. So we can now hit Control X, Y, and Enter and close out of our shell. Now that our shell's closed, our container's shut down, we can start it back up and open the console window. Log back in with root. And again, you don't have to do this with root. That's just the only user and the default user for a container like this. We'll go to CD MNT. And this time when we run an LS in the shared folder, you see that we have another folder called images that was created on our Proxmox share by default when we use the web interface to mount it. Now, if you did this mount via the command line and added it to the FS tab file, this folder wouldn't be created. Unfortunately, with the ease of 
doing the mount with our Proxmox system, that is not the case. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and now have a better understanding of how to use a SMB mount as storage inside of a container. As always, have a good night.